I think it's also important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. So the normal way that we conduct our lives is we, 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 we reason by analogy. Um, it's, we're doing this because it's like something else that was done mm -hmm. or it's like what um, other people are doing. First principles is kind of a physics way of looking at the world and what that really means is you kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths and, and say okay what are we sure is true or, or as sure as possible is true and then reason up from there. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes a lot more mental energy and for batteries they, they would say oh it's going to cost you know, historically it's cost $600 um, uh, per kilowatt hour, and so it's not gonna be much better than that in the future. And you say, no, okay, well, what, what, are, what are the batteries made of? So, so first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? Mm -hmm. What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a seal can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, what? If we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell, and you can have batteries that are much, much cheaper than anyone realizes.